For those of you who have class with me this fall 2022 semester, I want to spend a few minutes today talking about Remnote. I want to go into it a little bit more than what we've already talked about in class so that you can determine if you think that this is something that you can benefit from as a student. In my opinion, I think it is a, a service that uh, you will find useful, especially in terms of some of the uh, the flashcard features that are able that you're able to use to review basically new information that you're getting in all of your classes. So today I want to talk about the different ways that we'll be using RimNote and I give you some tips on how you can start using it right away. So as you know, I'm using RimNote as a lesson planning tool as your instructor. I'm sharing this information with you in the virtual classroom. So in all of the classes here that uh, that you're that we're taking. I have created a link, a UR link at the top of the page in the virtual classroom. And it's either going to be called Lessons and Activities or Lessons and Notes. Um, and it's simply a URL that will take you to the, the, no, the notes that I have created for the class so that you can also look at and see what we've done in the past and what we're currently working on. So we'll continue doing that. And if that's all you want to use RemNote for, it's not really necessary to create an account. But if you want to start using some of the additional features that I'm going to share with you here today, then it is required to set up an account. Now you can use your own username and password. This is a personal account, so you don't have to use the, uh, your email associated with the, your university account. This is a personal choice, so you can use any, any uh, email that you wish to use. But one of the things here that I want to share with you is uh, this flashcard feature. Now, I also have some shortcuts that we're going to be talking about as we talk about the rest of uh, the items here that I have listed. But the first thing I want to share with you here is a search feature. So to be able to search in RimNote, if you select Control P, this will give you a drop down menu and then you can search your, uh, you can find what you're looking for and you know when you first look at this you'll see that the search results it's it basically searches throughout the entire account or your knowledge base that you've set up here in RimNote and you'll notice here that it looks for both the documents and also text within the document okay so uh, depending on the results or depending on what you're trying to find you know you might go to a particular section of a note or maybe the note itself. So in this case, I want to set up a flashcard and you'll notice that, that RimNote is designed very much like an outline where you can indent and create these categories, right? So anytime that you indent, you get a drop down menus that allows you to expand and collapse the uh, each of the rims. Okay, these are referred to as rims. And uh, this is a very good way to uh, you know, be able to view just the information that you need to. But in this case, we're looking for a specific document in RimNote. And so I'm going to search. There's a couple of ways you can do this. All right. So I can select Control P and type in TOEFL flashcards because this is the document I want to find. And you'll notice this is the first result that uh, that we want to use. But I'm going to do it a different way. And I'm going to also select open brackets twice and then I type in my search term in this case TOEFL flashcards and the page appears here okay now if I select this it automatically opens up this account this uh, document and if I select that document then it takes me to another page now this is another document that I was looking for so let me backspace and show this again this is a new page so if I do this again and open bracket twice I want to search for something and if you want to create a new document in RemNote and you're in the document and you say I, I want to create a new document here within flashcards you can type in whatever you wish and in this case because it doesn't find anything using this title, you have the option to hit Control-Enter or select Create New Rim. 
So this is another way to create a new document right on the fly. If you're within a page or a document or a note and you want to create on the fly a new document, this is the easiest way to do that. Okay, if you want to create a document over here, this is also an option. You can create a folder, a blank document, or today's document. We're not going to talk today about what a today's document is, but this is another way to create a document. It's basically doing the same thing as I'm showing here. All right, so we have this document, TOEFL vocabulary um, flashcards. Now, this is one of the great features about RimNote. Now, I am sharing, those of you who have me this semester know that Many of you are practicing and learning new words that are often seen in the TOEFL. So what I've done is I've shared this document. Okay, so this is what I, what I see when I create this document. This is what you'll see oftentimes when you create flashcards. And to create a flashcard, think of the flashcard as having two sides. So we have one side, let's say that we have the word and let's say we want to let's open up a dictionary here all right so we are looking for a word and let's see let's find a word here it can be any any kind of word here let's say we want to add this word to to a flashcard we want to create a flashcard for this new word all right, so we're going to go back to RimNote. And here is the front side of the card. Now, to create a flashcard, you have basically three options. I'm not going to go into all of the ways that you can create a, a flashcard in RimNote. There are good videos uh, in YouTube that you can consult to, to get further information. But I'm going to show you three variations of how to create a, a flashcard. So if you want to create a flashcard that is, let's say, bidirectional, that is, when you, when you are looking at the flashcard, you want, the, uh, you want RimNote to show both the front side of the card and the back side of the card. Then you can use the arrows, the greater, the greater than and, and less than signs, uh, symbols. All right, so you have, so again, I'll show that here. You can go... You click those two arrows, the left and right arrow. And, and then you're going to include the back side of the card. So whatever the de definition happens to be, then you bring that into the back side of the card. And there you have flashcard. Now, you can also, let's do the same word. And let's say that you want to only view the flashcards where let's say the word itself or the front side of the card appears only and you have to enter the information on the back side of the card then you would use this arrow and to create this arrow you select the arrow that's pointing to the right twice and then that creates this little arrow this is what this indicates is that the flashcard you're creating one that is only going to share the front side of the card in this case the word itself and then we have the definition we would put that here on the back side of the card now the third way that you can view flashcards again we have the word we have the front side of the card and let's say that we only want to view the definitions themselves and then enter the word. And that's probably, for the purposes of reviewing TOEFL words, is probably the best way to view that, is to look, for the, look at the definitions and try to think of what word matches that definition. So here we would select the left arrow twice. Left arrow twice. Now notice the arrow is pointing to the left. And again, we would have our definition and... We have then set up our, our card. So you can decide how you want to view the flashcards by using these three different arrows to indicate, again, what you would like to view or what you would like to answer, whether it's the front side of the card or the back side of the card. Now, in this example, in this page for TOEFL, I've chosen to 
have only the definitions appear. So then you can just try to find the word or search the word as the answer to each of those. So when you set this up, again, this is what it looks like when you set up the flashcards. But um, I am going to reshare. This is something I share with with you all. My, those of you who are taking class with me should have a link to this if you want to practice your TOEFL vocabulary. Right? This is now what I've done is I've shared this page. So this is more like a public page or it's actually an unlisted page, but it's really the the pub the published version of the card. So again you see the words at along the bottom. But at the top, you have now the flashcards. In this case, we have 35 flashcards. Notice here that the meaning appears. And so you would include an answer and indicate below which option, based on how you recalled or did not recall the information, you would select. And this is very important so that uh, the RemNote will start to show only the flashcards or it will show the flashcards that you have more problems with more frequently those flashcards that are easy for you to answer they will show less frequently so you have the spaced repetition built in to the flashcard feature and this is where the value of learning new things by setting up these flashcards will i think uh, come into play this is one of the main reasons why i suggest using remnote as a student is being able to set up flashcards however you wish and then going through these flashcards periodically and indicating these so that you're not always receiving the easiest flashcards that you already know that you're uh you're you show the the information that you have more problems with uh, with greater frequency so that's basically what i wanted to share with you here today these flashcard features and uh, being able to not only take advantage of the flashcards that I'm setting up for you as your instructor, but more importantly, being able to set up your own flashcards and use those as needed, as you need to for your classes. Okay, so that's flashcards in a, in a nutshell. Again, if you want further information, do check online. Uh, you can find a lot of additional information and there's there you can get into do a lot more with flashcards than I'm uh, presenting here. Now, another great feature, I think, is the to do feature. Now, the to do feature. If you select control P because we want to search across our entire knowledge base within RemNote. If I select control P and search to do. The first option here at the top, I select this, and you'll notice these are my to-dos. Now, the way this works here, let's say, let's go back, and you can go into any document, but let's go back into flashcards just as an example. Now, I'm going to delete this information. So, notice here, I'm just selecting these rims, and I can just select delete. Okay, now here, let's say that, and this can be within any document. I'm just using uh, this document, flashcards, TOEFL flashcards as an example, but this can be in any document throughout your, your REM note. But let's say that to do item number one. So you type in whatever you need to do, things that you need to do. And the good thing here is it can be within the context of whatever document you're creating. So it might be a particular class or an assignment, and you need to associate a to-do item, something that you want to be reminded of to do later, right? You can write whatever the action item is. And the easiest way to do this, okay, is to hit Control-Enter. I hit Control-Enter once, and notice it has created a box. Okay, so again, this is the easiest way to, to do this. Now, let me go back. This is what it looks like originally. I think you can also hit slash to do and enter, and you can also do the same thing. This is what takes a little bit of uh, time, okay, to get used to RimNote or these, these shortcuts, basically. But once you get some of the shortcuts uh, under your belt, so to speak, that uh, becomes a little bit easier. Now, Notice here, if I hit Control-Enter again, 
it selects the item as if you have had completed the the item or if you want to hit control enter again it takes it back to its original form so i'm just hitting control enter once twice three times it takes me back so this is a much easier way i think to toggle back through the options here based on setting up the to do completing the to to the to do item and then selecting again if for whatever reason you just don't want it to be a to do item you just want it you just want to list it okay you have that option of course you can take your cursor and, and select the box also okay so just different ways of basically doing the same thing but let's say that you have this to do item now this is a brand new to do item so i'm going to search control p to do i'm going to go to my to do list and notice that this to do list that it was on a different page now appears under a document called to do and so here i have all my to do's it's basically a way to bring together in one space all of your to do's now you can also check the status. I'm not going to open this up, but this, these are, um, if you open this, you have an unfinished status and a finished status. And so you can look at some, uh, some, uh, some to do items that you've completed in the past. And if you need to for revert back to something that you've already completed, you don't lose that information. It's all here in this page. Again, I, I don't want to share it here because I have some, some, uh, different information that I've completed in there that I don't want to share with you here today. But basically, this is a good way to integrate to-dos throughout your REM note. Okay, so um, this is another very good feature that I think is worth mentioning as you're getting started, as you're getting familiar with uh, REM note. All right, so we've talked about flashcards, we've talked about to-do, and we've talked about some of the shortcuts. Let me review the rest of the shortcuts. So again, if I want to search any document in RemNote, Control-P. Type in the search term, and you're good to go. Okay, so now to show the indent feature, let's say I have just a new note, a RemNote. Okay, so I can select anywhere on that RemNote and hit the Tab button, and notice that it provides indentation i can go here let's say if this point is within this point now i have hit the tab button twice if i want to flush or bring out or reverse indent the item i can select shift tab and i can outdent essentially okay or flush it to the left again tab shift tab okay so <clears throat> just an easy way to bring uh, the rem notes indent them or uh, reverse indent them all right if you want to <clears throat> search for a document we've talked about that how to do that control i'm sorry not control just open bracket twice search the term let's say uh, let's say i want this page okay i just selected if you're creating a new page new or new document sometimes i refer to it as pages or documents i think they refer to them as documents so i want to create a new document so to to create a new document on the fly open bracket twice new document and then control enter and i, I select this new document now this is a new document notice there's references here this is just telling you where it's coming from but you can do whatever you would like in this new document to delete a document you can simply click on the ellipsis and delete and it's gone if I go to our original document you'll notice you'll get a message deleted rim I'm going to go ahead and delete delete this rim all right and it's gone Okay, so the next thing you can do is create portals. And I'm not going to go into portals, but basically a portal is embedding a document, a REM note, into another document. And so just to do that, it's open print twice, and then you can search the document. And you basically create an embed 
of that document. Now, tags might be something that you find useful. So if you are creating, let's say, a new page. So it's open bracket, new document, control enter. Now we can open this up and let's say that we want to create a tag for this document. It's pound sign twice and then the tag. So if you have Let's say that this document relates to TOEFL and you want to create a tag for TOEFL and I already have a tag. I can type the title and it finds the, the search automatically so I could select that and notice that the tag appears down here below. Now if I create a new, a new tag, notice that it's, this is a tag that doesn't exist. I can select control enter control enter and it will create a new tag now if you go all the way to the bottom of your search list you can also create a new tag by selecting this but again control enter for any of these uh, features that we've talked about portals documents and tags you can select control enter to create it now i'm not going to do that here but uh, just to show you that's how easy it is to create a tag now this is at the document level but of course if you are creating rims here same same approach pound sign twice and then the tag and you can add tags however you wish per rim or per document okay so i'll delete this and we'll go back to our document And that's basically it. We've talked about the to-do lists. We've talked about the flashcards, some keyboard uh, shortcuts that I think you'll find useful as you are getting started. The last thing I'll say here, if you need support, if you have questions about how to access a certain feature of RemNote, one of the best ways to do that is selecting the question mark here and going to the help and tutorials. You can... Uh, they have great customer service, so if you want to reach out and have uh, send a message to a person, they get back to you very, very promptly, and they're very helpful when you're finding, if you have some questions that you can't find in the tutorial section. They have an interactive tour that's very helpful, and they also have a keyboard shortcut list that's also very useful here. So in, on the fly, wherever you're working in RimNote, you can easily access this if you need to uh, find a specific keyboard shortcut and again this is probably in terms of the learning curve the keyboard shortcuts I think does it does take a, a little bit of time to get your head around that but some of the shortcuts that I'm sharing with you here today I think will get you started I think this is where I would start in terms of just getting into RimNote for the first time and being able to create these new RIMs and kind of get around uh, the uh, the, the website and get around your own knowledge base as you're creating new ideas and flashcards and to do's. All right. I will stop there for uh, today. I hope this helps. Of course, if you have questions, uh, let me know you, we can talk about it in class or you can reach out to me. Um, but again, there's a lot of information on YouTube with regard to RemNode. And of course, within RemNode itself, they have a lot of ways to uh, get information. All right, so we'll stop there for today, guys, and we'll uh, see everybody in class.